Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and if you have an older machine or a machine that is not computerized, you might have one of these. And well, let me show you exactly what it is and what exactly it does. Now, if it's a computerized machine, it might not have one. However, take a look because once you see what it is, you will want to use it. What these little pieces are, are seam guides. And this is the older one that went with this machine. And this is a newer one from a machine that is not computerized. In your machine bed, you will find that you will have one or two holes. And a lot of time they look like they're oil holes. There is one with little threads in it. And it can also be an oil hole, so it might have a dual purpose. And this will actually sit on top this large screw will screw into the hole and this becomes a guide for your fabric. For example, if you wanted to do a seam at one inch, you would put this little edge up to the one inch and tighten it. And once it is tightened, it does not move. So when you put your fabric along here, it will keep your one inch measurement or any measurement that you put. Now the newer machines come with a foot that has a lot of measurements on it. But if you have a measurement that is past this, this is where this is going to come in handy. So the maximum this is going to do is just under an inch and a half. And you would be thinking, well, I would never do a seam an inch and a half. And that's right, a lot of times we don't. However, we do do pleats and darts, and that's when that will come in handy. So if this is the width that I want the dart, and don't forget this would be double, then I'm able just to sew down. So once you've sewn the dart, and you've opened it up, it has the perfect measurement all the way down without you actually having to measure it. So you can go and do a whole series of darts or pleats. So being able to set this guide in a firm spot, it makes your seams and pleats the absolute perfect measurement. So dig through your sewing accessory box and see if you have one of these because if you do and you can put it on your machine, it can be a time saver and you might find a lot of other uses for it now that you know exactly what it is. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.